Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for letting us present our work on a mechatronically redundant and reconfigurable scale autonomous vehicle. So the key motivation behind this project was to push the bounds of autonomous vehicle research and education with a modular and openly accessible ecosystem that can lower the barrier of uh, people entering into the AV space for both education as well as research. The factors on the right uh, support our motivation in the fact that not everyone around the globe is able to, at the current moment, get into the field of autonomous vehicles, let alone start experimenting with it uh, on physical or simulated means. So the problem here exists uh, because the current platforms that are used for autonomous vehicle research lack aspects in terms of their integrity, which means the platform might either offer only simulation based uh, testing or only hardware uh, deployment. In terms of flexibility, not all platforms are uh, available to change any designs that are already there in place or add any new components to it from a novelty perspective. And finally, in terms of comprehensiveness, uh, as, as the table here highlights, uh, I won't be going into detail, but not all platforms have exhaustive features that can be used by a wide variety of research groups or educators to now cater their own needs. As a solution, we are presenting uh, an ecosystem called Autodrive, which uh, we'll be talking throughout the presentation. So the functional description uh, and the design philosophy behind this ecosystem is, as I just mentioned, to be open source, openly accessible, and open interface yeah. for anyone and everyone to use. And the picture here depicts the uh, architecture of the uh, vehicle, where we have tried to highlight different subsystems according to the color codes and the connections now highlight their interaction between each, each individual components. And put together, the vehicle looks something like this, where you now have all the subsystems components integrated into a system with a small footprint of just uh, 30 centimeters, which now enables you to use this platform for both in-house, in-lab, or in-class research and education. Uh, we have tried to segregate the novelty of this platform in terms of two aspects. First one uh, is the modular open system architecture, which enables both primitive and advanced reconfigurability. Here, the picture shows different primitive reconfigurations, uh, which are possible right out of the box when you get the vehicle to now change the change, add or uh, replace any of the existing components or subsystems. And with advanced reconfigurability, you can now tap into the core design of the chassis, for example, or the energy management systems computation, communication interfaces, software development frameworks, sensor suites, actuators and actuation mechanisms, uh, lighting and indicators, or any other components and subsystems of the vehicle. What's more interesting is the mechatronic redundancy. And here, for example, you have a conventional Ackerman steered vehicle uh, designed using the same uh, platform to now have a, a hardware mechanical linkage. But now you can choose to add two degree of freedom uh, joints to each of the individual wheels. And now you get a, an enhanced configuration space where you can do both torque vectoring for individual wheels for the drive actuators, as well as have novel steering mechanisms and study their analysis in, in uh, real world. So coming to the methodology, uh, the way we designed our, and developed this prototype was by adopting the very famous mechatronics uh, V model which helped us to co-design the hardware as, hardware as well as the software components in a concurrent engineering thinking framework. And uh, here is uh, how we came up with the virtual prototype and the uh, virtual model of the vehicle as well as the physical prototype. And we went ahead and performed an X in the loop testing, starting from model in the loop all the way up to vehicle in the loop to now validate this design and uh, perform a design optimization at every step to make sure that we meet the specified tolerances uh, as mentioned below. Coming to the benefits and applications, uh, this project has a huge scope. We are just demonstrating four sample applications. The first one being autonomous parking using probabilistic robotics approach, wherein the uh, whole idea is to use the modular approach of uh, perception, planning, and motion control to uh, navigate uh, tight spaces. In the second one, we are using uh, visual perception to perform behavioral cloning. Uh, third one is multi-agent intersection traversal in either a single or multi-agent learning scenario. And in the final one, we are demonstrating smart city management using over the air control commands uh, from a smart city manager server. This was just the tip of the iceberg, uh, but what we are overall proposing is a 
comprehensive ecosystem that has a hardware testbed for physical prototyping and testing, a software simulator that acts as a digital twin, uh, which enhances the variability and corner case analysis, and a modular software development framework, which supports a full host of uh, flexible APIs and tools that can now help develop autonomous driving as well as smart city applications. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, you are free to try this out yourselves, and I would, like we would be happy to take any questions during the presentation.